What is up, man? So I'm Tesla on Saturday. Why five belly? Oh, you can hear it. Sakuno69, aka one of my longest rating mods on my stream. And she is rating my exact Mega Scissor team copy for copy because she did donate $25 and she was able to get a free team as a donation perk. And she did kick my Mega Scissor team. And she plays really well with it. In fact, she's been doing really well with it as of late. So, yeah, it's a very good team. I myself am bringing my Mega Metagross team here consisting of Rotom Wash, Sylveon. Mega Metagross, Garchomp, Mandy Bus, and Heatran. My Mega Scissor team obviously consists of Rotom Wash, Landers, T, Latias, Keldeo, Heatran, and Mega Scissor. So, with that being in mind, guys, let's see if Sikuno Six Nine pulls through with, my, with Mega Scissor team, or if she comes up a bit short. Both of us are going to start from our Rotom Washes, and this is going to be a speed tie because that's the exact same Rotom Wash I have. Um, she's going to go for Willow she wins the speed tie, obviously, and I'm going to go for Willow as well, if I remember correctly. And both our rooms are burned. So now I want to know if I win the speed tie this time. Um, I go for a Volt Switch here after they both suffer burn damage. And she actually wins the speed tie and goes into, I'm going to swear it quickly on my Ronin Wash, going to remove Jeans and Lander's Tate, which negates my Volt Switch. Yeah, it sucks, but what can you do? Uh, Ronin Wash has healed the leftovers and then suffered some burn damage. So Ronin Wash is in a very bad predicament after getting hit by the critical hit. She goes on a U-turn. I'm keeping Rome watching here in hopes of that happening, and I, it does pay off. So, let's see. Guess we're trying. And out comes Godzilla Rome Watch, which gets it taken off of the pain slit. So, I got some HP back, which is all fine, good. But I probably should went for Volt Switch here. But I guess I expect her to go for knockoff as well. I went for pain slit in case she went for knockoff. But Rome Watch gets hurt by the burn, and I'm gonna go for Volt Switch this time. I win the speed tie. Knocks it down to about the red, and I'm actually going to shut up the Sylveon here. And my point is going to go for the Pain Split, which gets a lot of HP off Sylveon. And it's very unfortunate here, but yeah. So Rome Wash gets healed leftovers, then suffers some burn damage after Sylveon gets healed leftovers as well. Let's see. She's going to go for, she's going to go for Pain Split again. I don't really know what the point of that was, but I do go for a Heal Bell to get the burn off my Rome Wash. Her team does not have a Cleric. Because my Mega Scissor team did not have one on, on it. But yeah. So then gets healed leftovers. I'm going to watch that suffer some burn damage. My point is going to go for a move as I go for Protect. I want to see what it's going to do. And it goes for a Volt Switch. Awesome. I'm going to watch it heal leftovers. And I suffer some more burn damage. Sylveon does as well. So this is going to be a pretty boring turn. Uneventful turn, really. And it's going to go for Willow to burn my Sylveon. Possibly expecting to switch into... Um, Lando C, but I do go for Wish of Sylveon, and it's a standstill at this point because she can pain split health under back under Rome Watch. I can wish and protect and stuff, and nothing is really getting accomplished in this battle. So Sylveon gets hurt, hurt by the burn. I'm gonna switch Sylveon out. I'm gonna go into my Rome Watch here to wish pass into it, and she goes for a Volt Switch, really hoping this is not, this is not a critical hit and knock my Rome Watch out. But fortunately, it does not, and she switches right to Remove Genius, the Lando T. Gets the Intimidate off, not that really does anything, and Rome Wash is almost back to full recovery, which is awesome. Which is a very handy move, and it does support your team as well. She goes for a knockoff here, knock off my leftovers, and I do go for Hydro Pump, and that will knock out her Lander's T, which means that's one down on her side, zero down on my side. She goes in her own Rotom Wash. Gonna go for the Volt I'm gonna Speed Tie again, knocks it down to the yellow, and I'm gonna hard, I'm gonna soft switch out into Shut Up the Sylveon, as my opponent does go for the pain split again, when she's going to try to recover HP. Now, I'm really hoping that she's not actually switching Scissor here, because that could be very bad for me. Uh, something gets healed with leftovers, and her Roma is going to take some more burn damage, and so is Sylvan, so yeah, bad position. She goes to the Hydro Pump, and that will actually take Sylvan down to 19 HP. I do get the Wish off here. I'm really hoping that the burn does not take out my Sylveon first, so I get some leftovers recovery. So leftovers recovery, followed by the burn. That's when she takes burn damage as well. Which I'm Sylveon down to 6 HP. I'm gonna go for the Protect here, which allows me to get a free Wish Shot. To get my free recovery. She goes to the Volt Switch. And yeah. So Burn Wash takes some, some burn damage after leftovers recovery. It's getting very boring, this whole Sylveon versus Rotom standstill. But hopefully we can do something about that. Um, she, Sylveon takes some burn damage as well. She goes to the Volt Switch to pivot out. I do believe I go for either Wish or Hyper Voice here. She's switching on going into Blood Crater the Heatran. And sadly for me, I do believe I go for the Hyper Voice. Yep, it's time to resist it by the Heatran, which is very unfortunate. It does jack nothing. Hey, 
It healed Heechum, basically. And it's still gonna get healed leftovers as well. It's a summer burner. So still has a very low health. I'm gonna switch her out though. I'm gonna go to Royal Marsh here. My opponent does go for a Stealth Rock, which really sucks for me because now I have to worry about defogging the rocks away. And yeah, I'm gonna go for Hydro Pump. Does some decent damage to Heechum, but not even half because my, my Heechum is built specially defensively. And she sets up a Toxic on Royal Marsh. Very unfortunate situation for me, as Roblox is now badly poisoned, and I can't really switch to Sylveon to get a heal bell off because it's at very low health. But I do go for the Volt Switch here, and my opponent is going to see to I go into my own Heatran. I want to say she goes for Roar here, or does she go for Lava Bloom? Uh, he just takes some of the Silver Rock damage. She goes for Roar, which is unfortunate for me. However, the Roar does send a Bonehead, the Mandy Bites, which is the best situation possible for me. So I get a Defog off, and then a Taunt, and prevent her from Step Rocks. Um, she's gonna go for a lava plume here. We're gonna do a decent chunk of damage to, to me, but get the taunt off. Make sure she cannot reset rocks up and defog them away. I usually get still leftovers. And she's gonna go for yet yeah, another lava plume. Trying to burn my Mandy Buzz here. And I do go for a roost here just to get some HP back before I try to get rid of the entry hazards. Um, he usually gets still leftovers. Mandy Buzz cannot really touch Heatran. So she's gonna get some free recovery to the leftovers. And she finally scores a burn. Which is very, very, very unfortunate here. Uh, my opponent gets healed off over again. And unless I can get something on safely and somehow get a heal bell off, um, my mini buzz is in trouble. So I'm gonna switch mini buzz out. I'm gonna go right into my Rotom Wash here, hoping that she'll go for another Lot Plume. She does. It does a decent chunk of damage to Rotom. Um, Rotom is gonna get hurt by the poison, obviously. And he's just gonna get healed left over. So, not a real good situation to be in. Um, Taunt wears off. Gonna go for the Hydro Pump, hoping the critical hit it so she can't step um, her self rocks. But sadly, she is able to. And since Mandy Buzz is at low health and burnt, I cannot get a Defog off safely, which puts me in a very vulnerable position here. I'm gonna go for another Hydro Pump. It does knock out Heatran at this range, which is okay by me. And yeah. Next out, after my Rome Finks gets knocked out of 3 HP to the poison, she's gonna send out her Scizor here. She's gonna go for the Mega Evolution. I wanna say she either goes for Bug Bite or Bullet Punch. Alright, she goes for a knockoff, that takes out my Rome Wash. This is a max speed invest in Scissor, so obviously it does outpace my Rome. I'm gonna go on my Garchomp here, and I'm gonna actually go for Fire Thing. I have a choice to start Garchomp, and I'm gonna hope to, and pray that it kills, but sadly, it comes up short of killing it. She goes for a knockoff, which knocks off my Garchomp's choice scarf. However, the rough skin will take out Scissor. And next up comes my Latias. Uh, because knockoff, did, because Scissor fainted due to. Wait, no. Um, she goes on a Bonehead to Mavis. Alright, going both into the main, main bus here. Take some rocks here. She goes to Draco Meteor. I what? I skipped over this, or skimmed over that part rather. I'm sorry. I don't know if the knockoff took up off the choice scarf. I want to say no because Scizor fainted when knockoff connected. But I'm gonna send out my guard shop, and guard shop will go for a Dragon Claw on Latias. So that's the beauty about knockoff. If you knock off the Pokemon's item, and either the rough skin or Rocky Helmet takes you out, the item will not be knocked off. So I'm gonna go for another Dragon Claw here. It's gonna knock Rome Wash down to low red. She goes to Hydro Pump, misses, and the burn will finish off her Rotom Wash. Which leaves her Kelio versus my Garchomp. I'm gonna go for a Dragon Claw here, which is going to do about 40% to Kelio. I see when there's a knockout Garchomp, which just leaves my Mega Metagross left. So I'm gonna send out Mega Metagross. Now she could win if I miss his inhibit, and she scores a burn or a crit with Skull. Gonna go right for the Mega Evolution, hoping to, and praying that Zen Headbutt does connect. Or Keldeo goes for a Scald here. And does it burn? It does not. Zen Headbutt will finish off Keldeo, and that is GG. So that was a pretty.